Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So on January the 12th, 2022, at about 7.27 p.m., a call did go out for a fire at the FedEx Distribution Center over on Production Drive in Madison. Um, the FedEx Center, as you can see here on the map, uh, it is a fenced off area. Uh, it's controlled access, so there was no way to get in and get uh, video. So I parked over here at this Payless gas station and then had to walk across this field here down a fence line and I ended up right about up in this area here between the little tree line and the fence line so I stayed outside their property uh, but I was able to still get uh, fairly decent video uh, for the most part now the fire was pretty much contained by the time I got there um, and I did get there within about 15 minutes uh, of the call going out uh, but the Madison Fire Department responded quickly got the fire knocked out it was contained kind of in one area uh, of the facility. There's a, uh, there's like a small packing center trailer kind of add-on that, that is attached to the building and that's where it appeared to me that the fire was mostly contained. Um, they did uh, attack that quickly, got it out. Everybody that was inside the facility was evacuated quickly uh, prior to fire department arrival. No injuries were reported and um, Considering what it could have been, um, in my opinion, the, the damage to the facility is going to be rather minimal uh, since it didn't spread. Uh, unknown uh, if there were any packages damaged uh, or, uh, or anything like that, but if there's some delay in your FedEx packages that are in Madison, uh, Alabama, then you know why. But sit back, we'll watch. I did decide to go ahead and include in this video, it is a longer video uh, because I wanted to show the, the pack up and the cleanup that goes into uh, what the firemen have to do once they finish with the scene. They still have to roll all the hoses up. They got to get everything back together. They, they got to pack the truck up and they got to get ready for the next call. Uh, right here is where you can see there is some smoke damage right there. We'll move around here in just a moment so you can see a, a little bit better angle of where the fire actually is, but it was it was on this corner of the building, kind of the southwest corner. This is the area here where the fire was primarily uh, contained. It did go into the main structure slightly from what I understand, but they, it seems like this is where it possibly started. Uh, so that's where the firemen are currently working in there right now with the tack lines and uh, getting the overhaul done.
Here you can see the firemen start exiting that portion of the building. Now that the attack is complete, uh, you see this fireman here is shutting off the uh, pumps and uh, getting ready to remove the supply line. There was a hydrant inside the uh, fence perimeter there that they were able to hook to. Pretty standard in most industrial locations. They want to make sure that there's some type of a uh, some type of a water feed for the firemen to hook to so they can run their pumps. But as you can see, they had quite the response out here. Uh, multiple firemen were inside uh, making sure that the fire was knocked out.
as you can see now, they're beginning the process of removing the attack line from the engine, starting to uh, roll out the hoses, get them drained out uh, so that they can roll them back up, get them loaded back on the truck for the next call. where the fire marshal is doing their inspection inside to determine the exact nature and cause of the fire. Uh, as I said before in the video, it seemed that the primary location of the fire was inside what's referred to as a packing station. I'm assuming they 
they pack and prepare boxes there, uh, maybe if, they're, if they've been opened or damaged in some kind of way. Uh, and then they, uh, they, or they bring them in that way to put them on the smaller trucks. I so said, I'm not 100% certain how the FedEx operations work, but that's what makes sense to me. Getting those hoses stacked back up. They have to keep things super organized. They've got a lot of things to get on these trucks uh, and sometimes in a small amount of space. There's a lot of equipment on these trucks. As we get close to the end of this video, I just want to say thank you for hanging out and watching if you've watched all the way through. I know it was a little bit longer video uh, than normal. Uh, could have gotten enough information rather quickly and, and been a shorter video, but I wanted to show you kind of the, the work that goes into them packing up and getting ready to roll out for the next one. So uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please consider doing that. Don't forget to turn on all those notifications so you don't miss anything. And uh, hit that like button before you head out. Once again, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, y'all.